Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Scott Kirshner and Dave Ross. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. It's 419-794-3030. The website's ARHQ.com. Four years ago, if you asked people if they would work past age 62, about 55% would have said yes. Today, that number is down to 46%. You know, even with all the negative headlines about inflation, Social Security, recession, and savings, 75% of people are retired by age 65. So when you talk to people in their early 60s, what are the reasons they give you for wanting to leave the workforce? Is it job burnout or health problems? Or is it actually a positive answer? Like, I finally got enough money and the math looks like it'll work out for me. I would certainly think it's all of the above. But the ones that have saved well, I would say that that's, that's probably a lower number. Yeah, I agree. I have actually have a couple clients that saved well enough to be able to retire in their late 50s. And it's an interesting thing when you start looking at when can you start touching your your retirement savings because the magic number for retirement withdrawals from a qualified plan is 59 and a half. So if a person wants to retire at 57 or 58, they probably should have a sizable amount of cash sitting in an old-fashioned bank account, certificate of deposit, or some kind of a liquid money fund because they're going to be drawing on that because they're going to need a delay starting the withdrawals from their, from their personal retirement savings at 59 and a half. Then you, fi- then you factor in, when do they start Social Security? I would say that a lot of those folks, the early retirees, will probably want to turn on at 62. But I think the wild card that kind of factors into all of this, when people retire, they may just be tired or want to find something, want to just do something else. Well, how are they going to feel a year into retirement mm-hmm. when they've been spending a lot of money, maybe they've traveled a little bit, they've spent, they've spent money, and they're, they realize that, gee, I can't continue this torrid lifestyle for very long. I think I need to find a, a little part-time employment. Sure. Well, I think, I think, There's going to be a lot of that. And I'll give you one really quick story. I met a gentleman, this is several years ago, and he had been retired for a year when I met him. And I asked him, he said, I said, what's it like being retired? He said, well, I was spending so much money, I got bored to tears. So I ended up getting a a job. And I said, so what are you doing? And he was... He was driving a school bus, sure. and he was taking care of athletic fields at the local high school. And I said, well, how much do you make? And he told me, and I, then it hit me, he, just, he has forfeited his entire Social Security check. Wow. And, but don't get me wrong, he was happy to be engaged, in, and he was happy to have a, a purpose for his everyday living. But the problem is he did, he did that job for a couple of years, and then he said, no, I really want to be retired and doing nothing. Well, they reestablished the Social Security at the age 62 level. He didn't get any real major bump ups because he kept working. So early retirement is something you really have to consult with a financial advisor sure. because... The math has to fit. The math has to work in your favor on a multiple of fronts, and then that doesn't even discuss things like what if your health changes and you're forced to retire, or you know you've got a what if you're fine but your spouse is ill and you have to take care of them, and I've heard of stories where now people are taking care of their their. Old, their older parents. Sure, absolutely. They can't. They can't work and do all of that. So, 
you really need to consult with us or a financial advisor of your choosing because these are, these are challenging decisions to make and you can't go in, you can't just say, I've had enough, I can't do this anymore. The math has to f find a way to work in your favor there. Well, you know, those numbers that, um, that you started out with, Chris, four years ago, it was 55% um, uh, said working past 62 wasn't going to work for them, right? And even with inflation, you know, the gas prices and inflation and the way things are going today, people are still looking to retire. I run into a lot of people that come into me and, um, you know, when I'm setting them up for Medicare and I talk about that, um, a lot of people are just tired. I, I run into that. They're just tired. They're fr frustrated. Um, you know, this goes back to COVID for me. You know, I remember the employment practice laws. Um, a lot of these companies that downsized never replaced the employees when they got back up and running at full capacity. So now you've got people that were doing their job are now doing two or three other people's jobs and they're making the same amount of money they were making before. And to be quite honest with you, they're just really, really frustrated with that. Um, but then, you know, there are people that have properly saved, like you said, Dave, if you, if, if, if this is where you want to be, like Dave said, reach out to, to Dave and, and the team that he works with, um, at, um, America's retirement headquarters and, they will make sure that you can get a plan put in place that's going to allow you to retire at whatever age fits your needs and, and enjoy the rest of uh, that last chapter of your life. This conversation is by no means an attempt to dissuade you from retiring early. Right. If you've got the means to do so, if the, the math works out, then by all means, do that. Enjoy yourself. But you want to make sure that the math works out. And bear in mind, the earlier you retire, the longer you have to fund those years of retirement. So, uh, we say it so often here on the show, measure twice, cut once, uh, and, and let the team at America's Retirement Headquarters hope that you out with that. All it takes to get started, giving a call, setting up a time, 419-794-3030. You can go onto the website, find out more about the events they've got coming up at ARHQ.com. And uh, they're always available day and night on the website, ARHQ.com. want to thank you so much for joining us here on America's Retirement Headquarters. It's home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. Uh, gentlemen, appreciate the time. And as we wrap up here, I want to leave you with a final word. Well, Dave, thanks again. Uh, I always enjoy doing a radio show with you. Uh, and thank, thank you to all your listeners. Thank you, Chris. Um, thanks for listening at um, uh, 1370, um, Toledo's number one talk radio station. And uh, have a great rest of your week.